Hey everyone, welcome. Today we are going to look at the dependency inversion principle. So dependency inversion principle has two main rules. That high level module should not depend on low level modules and both of them should depend on abstractions. And the second rule is abstractions should not depend on details but the details should depend on abstractions. Let's look at this through code so it's easier to understand. So here I have a simple player script in which I have a private object of the type gun and a private object of the type laser. And both of these classes are implemented in the same file just for the sake of ease. And the gun class has a shoot function which basically logs a message to the console and same is the case with the laser class. Now here the issue with this implementation is that our player class is dependent upon these two gun and laser classes and they cannot be used interchangeably. So we are currently dependent upon the concrete implementations instead of the abstractions. So in order to fix this, we'll use the dependency inversion principle. Let's see it in action. So here our abstraction would be that we would create a public interface of the type weapon and this will have a public void shoot function. Now our gun class would implement this weapon interface and same goes for our laser class and here we are basically implementing the shoot function of the weapon interface so here we are dependent upon the abstraction which is the weapon and now let's refactor the player class to use dependency inversion in the player class what we would do is we would first of all create a private weapon let's call this i weapon and we'll create a public void set weapon function which would take in weapon weapon and this would set i weapon to weapon and basically here we are injecting our dependency through this function and let's simply create an update function and say that if input dot key code dot escape if you press this button and our weapon basically i weapon is not equal to null then simply call the shoot function on whatever our weapon is we we don't care what the weapon is so this can be the i weapon can be a laser or a simple gun or a rocket launcher or player class does not care about that so we are depending upon the abstraction here and not the concrete implementations and let's say for the sake of this example we have a simple class over here let's just call this game and here we would simply say public player player and in the start function we can say that i weapon basically it's not i it's weapon weapon is equal to new gun and we can say that player dot set weapon to weapon now we can easily convert this to a laser because both our laser and our gun are dependent upon the abstraction and there is no tight coupling so we can use them interchangeably so this is the whole idea behind the dependency inversion principle that we should depend upon abstractions instead of using concrete implementations or tight coupling i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one